vasculitis is a very specific term that means that there is the immune system inappropriately attacking and destroying the walls of blood vessels. Vasculitis as a feature of disease can occur sometimes as a part of other rheumatic conditions such as for example in rare cases rheumatoid arthritis or even lupus or alternatively it can be the defining feature of some autoimmune diseases such as Wegner's granulomatosis, also known as granulomatosis with polyangitis, Takayasu arteritis, um, and giant cell arteritis, to name a few examples. Vasculitis as a group of diseases that targets the blood vessels, we should note though, is extremely rare. The general umbrella term for diseases which target blood vessels is vasculopathies. And the most common kinds of vasculopathies have nothing to do at all with the immune system. The most common vasculopathies in the United States specifically are disease from hypertension and then disease from cholesterol, such as atherosclerotic disease. As a group, vasculitis is among the most rare uh, types of diseases which affect blood vessels. Specialists group vasculitis uh, diseases into three major categories, which are reflective of the size of the vessel that is attacked and injured uh, in the disease. There are diseases which attack the largest arteries, um, being the aorta and its major branches. Um, examples of this, the diseases in this category include giant cell arteritis, also known as temporal arteritis and then Takayasu arteritis. There is a second category of vasculitis diseases or vasculitides um, that is uh, uh, grouped together because of um, attack on medium vessels. Typical examples in this category include Kawasaki's disease in children and then polyarteritis nodosa. And then finally, there is a third category of um, vasculitic diseases um, that attacks the small vessels um, that are, uh, or in the microcirculature that's actually in um, end organs, such as the skin or um, even in the kidney itself. Uh, typical um, conditions that are in this category include the ANCA associated vasculitides. Um, which includes a group of three diseases, EGPA, also known as eosinophilic granulomatosis or shrug strauss disease, um, microscopic polyangitis, and granulomatosis with polyangitis or GPA, also previously referred to in older literature as Wegner's granulomatosis. Outside of these three categories, there are also diseases which can attack combinations of different sizes of vessels such as medium vessels and small vessels together. Uh, diseases in this category sometimes includes, uh, include uh, Bechet's disease, for example, and there are others. Vasculitis really can affect um, anyone uh, really um, of any age and really unlike many other rheumatic diseases, doesn't have a particular preference for women over men or vice versa. That being said, certain specific vasculitic diseases, such as Kawasaki disease, um, are seen almost exclusively only in children. There is another vasculitic condition called hinox schoenlein purpura, which predominantly affects children as well. Uh, but it can certainly also be seen in adults, and when it does occur in adults, can be a little bit more resistant to treatment. There are other conditions too, such as giant cell arteritis, which are seen exclusively in um, elderly patients. And the way that the current classification criteria for better or worse break down elderly <laughs> for the purposes of um, uh, describing these diseases, we set the age cutoff at 50. What I think is more important to realize is that for diseases like giant cell arteritis, also known as temporal arteritis, 
that in this particular case, there seems to be, we find now and more and more as the science um, uh, really evolves in this field, that there is a change in the immune system over time, that the immune system, like any other organ or body part, such as a joint, certainly changes in its characteristics over time. In the case of giant cell arteritis or temporal arteritis, it seems that the immune system that in childhood and in early adulthood was able to correctly differentiate um, the differentiate between self and non-self loses that ability and somehow comes to recognize the large arteries as, uh, as uh, quote-unquote foreign targets um, that need to be um, eliminated from an immune standpoint. How and why this happens really is an area still of active research, but it does highlight that uh, an emerging principle, not just in vasculitis, that the immune system certainly and its specificity changes with time.